Good morning, everyone. Today's date, Wednesday, May 6th. Beautiful morning at 9 in the morning. This is Chief Analyst Ryan Fox here at OptionsXO, giving you today's daily market update. So taking a look at Forex Factory already, we see some announcements happened earlier this morning. Uh, looks like retail sales monthly on month for the Aussie on the high impact there was 0.3% underneath the forecasted 0.4, so that's going to hurt the Aussie a little bit. Uh, we see early ser Spanish services PMI and uh, Italian services PMI next. Uh, positive uh, results for the services PMI for the Spanish side. We know that Spanish economy has been getting better recently. So you can see that Spanish services PMI is increasing and its previous was much, or at least in this case, really blew the forecast out of the water. So that means we had a really positive week, perhaps this week, uh, and maybe next week, maybe a down week. But uh, this week's very, very positive, it looks like, for the euro. Uh, Spanish services PMI, or Italian services PMI, looks like a bit uh, shaky because we don't you know, see any recent positive uh, results there. It looks inconsistent on the, on the Italian side. French side, same issue there. On the German side, much different. We see the Germans are much, much more consistent. There are positive results there. We're expecting 54.4. If we see anything higher than that, we'll see a very, very strong boost to the German uh, side for the euro. Final services PMI is basically the average of all these. And it's expected to be 57. So overall, we can see how well the Germans and looks like Spanish uh, services PMI are really affecting the strength of the euro and it looks like Italian and French are really dragging it. Uh, and also, of course, you know, I'm sure, you know, services BMI for Greece is doing so, so well as well. Services BMI for the pound, however, much different case, also very, very strong. But as of recently, it looks like it had a minor retracement uh, from looks like September of last year through early, maybe March until we start to get some better results. Expected 58.6. Anything less will hurt the pound. Uh, retail sales for the euro, expecting negative 0.4%. If we see anything positive, we're going to see a much, much better result for the the euro. Later on in the afternoon, we have non-farm employment change. It's a big announcement for the dollar, expecting 192,000 on the forecast. This is the estimated change in the number of people employed during previous month, excluding the farming industry and government. So this is a very, very important announcement. And, you know, why traders care? Because job creation is an important leading indicator for consumer spending, folks. Uh, you can see the previous results for this announcement are very, very poor. However, it could, it could be a very strong boost for the dollar if we see a positive announcement on this. Uh, this is also followed by preliminary unit labor costs quarterly, expecting 4.5%. Previous was 2.7. If we look at the graph results, it's a little bit inconsistent, but that's okay. Uh, preliminary non-farm productivity, negative 1.8% forecasted. This is the annualized change in labor efficiency followed by crude oil inventories late in the afternoon at 3.30 British summertime at 1.3 million. We can see that if we look at the graph, oil inventories had increased very, very strongly recently, way above forecast in several, several months. Uh, and now we see that it's uh, only 1.9. It could be very possible that it could overextend uh, that. In that case, that could potentially hurt uh, the the, the oil industry only because prices are higher now uh, as a result of some leeway. But if, if inventories are, are much, much higher than expected, then that means that there's so much oil that's being stored that it's not being able to be sold in the market. So it's losing value quickly. Uh, so um, ultimately, the price could be affected if it drops down again in order to you know facilitate this change. Last but not least, we have FOMC member Lockhart speaking at 6.30. He's going to be speaking about the economic outlook and monetary policy at the Baton Rouge Rotary. And you can find out about that by clicking the latest release on the Forex Factory. If we take a look at the quote list, you'll see that there's some changes early in the morning. We see WTI crew position getting 1.77 percent it's now at a high of 61.7 a low of 60 so it's in the 60s range we see silver also gaining in dollar canadian as well as the euro uh euro yen euro pound euro kiwi and euro aussie as well as gold gaining 2.3 percent high of 
looks like 0 0.96, 0 0.95 to the dollar. If we take a look at the biggest uh, uh, loser so far, we can see that pound franc, euro Canadian, pound yen, pound looks like has been down. So if we see a positive services PMI, remember on the Forex factory, positive services PMI on this announcement looks like at 930, then we could really see an increase in the pound. So definitely go to your charts and look at pound dollar. And see, it's gone down a bit. But if we see something positive, that's going to really boost. So it's going to go way back up. We noticed that yesterday, it was or even on Friday, the week before, it was doing very well. So it could be a minor retracement to see pound dollar back up. But keep in mind that if we see a negative result for the service of PMI, that's pound dollars going way down, folks. So see that it's already dropped down significantly over the past, looks like, few hours, two hours approximately. We see other assets in the on the go, 11,000 on the DAX. Uh, looks like 6,951 on the FTSE. Dow Jones remained at 17,928 as of yesterday. Uh, crude oil. Right now at 61, gold at 1191, but crossing going down. Silver dropped 16.4, dollar again down to 119 from 120 and above before yesterday. Euro dollar up to 1.12. So that's today's daily market update, folks. This is Chief Analyst Ryan Fox from Options XO signing off. Have a wonderful day and enjoy the trading.